guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to talk about exfoliation. Um, I'm gonna let you know about one of my favorite exfoliants that I use. Um, before we get into that, you can go on ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video if you do like it, um, comment below what you wanna see me um, review, and yeah, let me know what you think. So I'm gonna to talk to you today about Bosha. They have an awesome exfoliating peel gel that I absolutely love. If you are a fan of popping pimples, if you're a fan of anything in that realm, I feel like this kind of hits a similar chord for those type of people. Um, you see dead skin just falling off and I love that. That's maybe why I really like this peel gel, but I mean, it works awesome. It does what it says it's gonna do, so um, it really is great. So it's Bosha Exfoliating Peel Gel. Um, Basically, it is what it is, it's an exfoliant. So it's gonna get rid of dead skin cells, it's gonna leave your skin really soft, really smooth, um, which I know for me, using makeup almost every day, I get really bad skin cell buildup. And this just really helps to kind of remove that and even everything out. Um, it also is gonna help kind of minimize your pores, help clean those out, detoxify. So I mean, that's a plus. Um, so it helps also with skin tone. So, you know, uneven skin tones, it's gonna really help to kind of try to combat that and make that better. So, um, I'm saying so a lot, sorry. Um, I'm probably gonna keep saying it. Um, so, Bosha, it um, is a brand that it has um, a botanical combination and that combination is jojoba leaf and willow herb. So the jojoba leaf is an antioxidant. So it's gonna help with like free radicals that we get from a, you know, just the environment and then UV rays. And it, so it's gonna help combat that really fight aging. So that is important. Obviously, I'm starting to age. I hate getting older, um, but it does help with that. And then the willow herb, um, it's calming for the skin. So anytime you're exfoliating your skin, you're kind of roughing things up a little bit. And that's really helpful to have something that's going to go and really try to calm your skin too. So I really like that. Although, I mean, I have said before, my skin, I probably could throw just straight acid on my skin and it would be okay. <laughs> but um, it's always good to treat your skin and soothe it out as well when you're exfoliating. Um, it helps to alleviate inflammation and redness. So people that tend to have a little bit more sensitive skin, this might be nice because it's not like incredibly abrasive. It never seemed, anytime I do it, like there's no tingling on my skin at all. And it, so I think probably this could help even if you had more on the side of sensitive skin, this could help some. Um, so it is paraben and preservative free. That's fantastic. Um, there's no artificial fragrance, um, no color in this. It's naturally colored from the ingredients that it uses, kind of like a pink color. I'm going to show you here in a minute. Um, there is gl or there is not gluten in it. So, I mean, I know most gluten allergies are when you are consuming gluten, but it does not contain gluten. And um, it doesn't contain ethanol alcohol, which is found in a lot of products, especially over-the-counter products at like just drug stores. Um, you can find ethanol alcohol as an ingredient in a lot of like toners and exfoliants and things like that. And that dries out your skin really bad. So it's awesome that this doesn't contain that. Um, yeah, I really like it. Um, I do try to use it about once a week and, um, I don't always do good about doing that. I'll use some other exfoliants throughout the week as well, but um, I will say when I use this, it, it really does. It makes my skin, it kind of has this rough feeling before I do it and then after I do it, my skin feels smooth and that's perfection. So um, this is the bottle and um, kind of has a pinky color again. I'm gonna show you here in a bit. Um, so this is 150 ml or five ounces. It retails for $34 and you can find it at Sephora. Um, I have just like a little JCPenney Sephora 
where I live and it sucks, it's awful, but they do carry this. So, um, yeah, this is one of the first ones that I got, but I'm gonna show you on the back of my hand. So I'm gonna score it here. So it's kind of like a clear, it's more of a clear color, but it does kind of pull pink a little bit. So like this is a huge amount and you just kind of rub it and like, you can see dead skin starting to peel up off my the back of my hand, which I have really bad skin um, on my hands and I should really start using this on my hand. I just had a ta-da light bulb moment. Um, but I mean, look, however, my, I mean, that product, I probably didn't need that much just for the back of my hand. Um, this lasts a long time, but I mean, look how, look how gross. That's just skin, skin from the back of my hand. But no, what I was saying is I work at a hospital, so I have to sanitize my hands all the time and then wash my hands all the time. If I didn't, that'd be gross. And, um, so I get really bad, dry, scaly, nasty hands. And this would probably work really good on my hands. So I'm gonna start doing that. <laughs> um, but you can see kind of on the back of my hand, all that beaded up on the back of my hand is dead skin. It's gross. Um, but it's also awesome because now the back of my hand is really smooth and it's quite nice. Now it kind of leaves a little bit of a um, moist, feeling to it, but to get this off, just take a rag, a wet, warm wash rag and wipe it off. Peach fuzz, I have really bad peach fuzz in three year. I've got a peach fuzz beard. And um, so it can kind of ball up and get stuck in your peach fuzz. Um, I really do like doing this before I get in the shower and then I can just get in the shower and kind of rinse it out and kind of pick it out of my little peach beard. So. Um, yeah, it is awesome, fantastic. Again, highly recommend this. Only thing I don't like about it is that it does get stuck in my peach fuzz or on my jawline, but it's easy to get out and yeah. So tell me what you think. If you've used this product before, let me know if you like it. And uh, it's disgusting. I am rolling in between my fingers a little ball of skin. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna get off here, wash my hand off. Um, have a good rest of your day, guys. Check you later.